Hello and welcome back to the channel for another video. This will start this video off by saying thanks for three and a half K subs. Really nice, really appreciate it. Thanks for the people who have come here recently from the comeback of Mars Argo, which will be what this video is about. Some things have changed since my last video weren't in my last video because that hadn't happened, obviously. Uh, so I just want to make a quick video about that, and then I guess in this video I also want to talk about potential prediction. To start off really simply, this is the channel. Now, grocerybad.tv is dead. It's now should I clean my room? And you can see that angry is the thing that's uh, for return subscribers. And it's at 83,000 views in three days, which I think is pretty nice. You can see it's getting nearly 400 views an hour and both using you and Runaway are also doing well. Delete your Facebook, not so much. The URL has been changed to C slash should I clean my room, meaning that the grossabout.tv URL is currently vacant, I believe. I want to say though, if you're watching this, don't take it. I hope that it just gets left. What is should I clean my room? Well, it would seem that if you take the first letter of each of the words individually, it spells sigma. Sigma. Should I clean my room? That's logically an explanation. And also the photo has changed to the cover of Angry as opposed to the, is it the Sad Heart logo, I think, potentially, or the Happy Heart logo, something like that. What is Should I Clean My Room, though? I mean, it could be the title of an album or an EP. I don't know. Something I didn't really talk about, I don't think, in my previous video is that the song was actually released as Mars Argo, which may put to rest the questions about what name she will release music under. Uh, as this is a new release, in 2022, it is released as Mars Argo. The song was originally written, or supposedly written, during the Guppy era, so she has stuck with Mars Argo, which I think is the right thing to do, really, especially for now. I hope that there's no ill feelings towards the name for her, and maybe this shows that there isn't, and that maybe enough time has passed that she could start feeling some positive emotions towards uh, the name Mars Argo. I also want to quickly run through Spotify and show how it's doing. This also says I'm back, by the way. I don't know if I point that out. It has over 100,000 plays. It has 40,000 more plays than it does views on YouTube, which I thought was interesting because there's 140,000 subscribers. I thought that more people would discover it through YouTube than Spotify, but I guess not. It is also theorized, though, that maybe because you can put it on repeat and it's a lot easier to access on Spotify and listen to more than once. But that could be a way. 25,000 monthly listeners as well. Uh, as you can see, I was listening to the song. I've listened to it a few times now. Also, marsargo.com, in case you're wondering, still has no movement. But theorize that it may. Marsargo wiki has changed a bit. You can see the background is the cover art for Angry. And it's changed a bit. This and the singles and this has also changed. Mars also tweeted out the song. It's also posted onto Facebook about it, which I thought was a bit ironic, but still. So she has posted it onto, I think, every social media she's on, which confirms its legitimacy if it was questioned to start with. So this was recently put on to the wiki. DC Flamingo was a planned stealth project developed by Montana, Mendy, and Mars Argo in 2015. It was originally intended for late 2015 or 16 release, but never came to fruition. DC Flamingo was listed as an upcoming project on Mendy's personal website in 2015 with the description reading essentially a stealth project with musician Mars Argo launching sometime later this year or 2016. Let's write dcflamingo.com was still online in 2016 and can be seen on multiple Wayback Machine archives with the homepage claiming it was coming at some point. Despite this, the project never saw an official release. It's possible for the idea that DC Flamingo was reworked into Young Flamingo Club, which is a podcast launched by Mendy and Justin Purser in 2021. I don't actually know anything about this, to be honest with you, but I just thought that it might be interesting to kind of mention rather than put a whole thing. I'm not 100% sure where it is on here, but yeah, it's a, it's a thing. I don't know if this was part of before Guppy 
I'm guessing the timeline, if I had to guess, I'd say that if it was a podcast, potentially, that it may have been after Guppy. This is another thing that I don't think will be answered, but still interesting to talk about. So the wiki is also stating that they reckon there'll be an album, so that could be interesting. It's a nice cover, by the way. Do I think there'll be an EP or an album to go with this? Well, something that I didn't show you was that one of Marta's friends, uh, Sidara, I think that's how you pronounce it, she said that it was just the beginning, so I assume that there's more, whether that is a EP or an album, whatever, I don't know, but I assume that there's more. Will there be a music video for Angry? Couldn't tell you. No idea. I would say not, because it doesn't ha- have like official audio after it, kind of separate it from a potential music video, but I've been wrong before, so I don't know, but if there is, I'll react to it. But yeah, I've definitely been enjoying the song, it's nice that I can put it on Spotify and put it on repeat and listen to it, I can put it on some speakers and turn it up and really listen to it, and yeah, hopefully this is the start of something more. I will say though that it is now evident that she has the passwords to what was grocerybad.tv uh, and I guess there could be theories into whether or not the previous videos are going to be put back online or not. I would say no, as I said a minute ago, I've been wrong before, but I think the previous three are up there. My current stance on the reason is because she liked them basically and that the others are probably still in her YouTube studio but it just seen there because they can. Even if they were all made public, I'm pretty sure I think that some of them were deleted. Some of the earlier ones that lost were deleted. Like Log Vedica for example I don't think would come back out. But I don't know. I don't think that I called it that she came back or anything. I think that there was enough speculation about a comeback to start with and there's been enough speculation for years about what would happen that one of them had to be right in the end if she was going to come back and end out that this one was. But yeah, I will keep you up to date with more Mars Argo news. Uh, you can subscribe for that if you want. And yeah, thanks for watching. Have a nice day and peace.